while since we did a uh, horror stream. So let's fucking get this. Let me uh, move my camera here. We'll go off to the side. Look at this loser, I know, right? All right, let's check some settings first. All right. Everything's on high. We'll see. We've only had like one game really fucking tax us. That motherfucker just knocked twice. Easy, Charles. I win. What up, Bob? Charles out here talking shit, and we've already knocked twice. To start the goddamn game. You sound like your entire mouth is filled with you. My bad. I spent too much time here. Charles, you spend way too much time here. What are you doing with your life? Dude, I went to sleep yesterday. Fuck you twice. I went to sleep yesterday and slept like a fucking rock. Chloe, leave me the fuck alone. Wow. It's rough. What is it with like mirrors that don't show you your person? Pick up the candlestick to light your way. Uh, let's find a candlestick. There it is. Light the candle in the fire, brother. You, you want to help me out here by, like, showing me how to do that? Is there like a fucking crouch button? Okay, there we go. I fucking hate when the crouch button is C. Okay, that's fucking creepy. I already don't like that. Ah! Can you can can you guys fucking not? The game just started. I'm, I'm out here breaking shit already. I apparently can pick up fucking anything. Okay. Well, that didn't help in any meaningful way. I mean, if the computer has electricity, you would think that, uh, I could just turn on some fucking lights, right? Mm. Fuck you, phone. Mm. Why did you turn the power off? I hate you.
So I did that, huh? Chloe's Diary, October 10th, 2016. Is the game like silent? No. Here, let me turn it up. She dumped me all those years ago, and now she just waltzes back into my life and expects me to just carry on like everything's okay. Well, it's not. I just wish she left me the fuck alone. She's trying to wow me with her fancy job and her big new house. But there's no hiding the truth. She abandoned me, and I can't stop hating her for that. We're strangers now. She's not fit to be a mother, and she'll probably just send me back to, to the home once she's tired of me. Alright. So that's a red circle, meaning I can't leave. Another red circle. Light some wall candles here. All right. Well, oh, there's no like swing that thing now. So you can't even like use the golf club. Good place to leave the diary, right? story behind award-winning artist and sculptor Jessica Webb Thomas. Inspiration can come from anywhere, from anything. Mine is driven by my relationship to this world and what I feel connected to. Since I was nine years old, I knew I wanted to be an artist. I was always playing with clay, but it wasn't until my teens that I found that I had a true talent for sculpting. And I still love it to this day. I'm fascinated by the bonds we make as humans. The strongest bond is between a mother and her baby. See if I get murdered over here. Fuck. Ah. Hey, Alchemy, I love you too, brother. I'm, I'm like beating shit up with a note. Okay. Department of Health and Social Services, Division of Child Welfare. 2nd September, 2016, temporary custody order. Dear Miss Jessica Webb Thomas, please accept this letter as a form of agreement regarding Chloe Ann Webb. In the light of evidence provided and with the constant or with the consent of Chloe, we are happy to inform you that we are able to arrange a trial custody period with your daughter. Once a staging period has been agreed, we will send you a final letter of confirmation. Yours sincerely, Julia Andrews, Division of Child Welfare. Pills, some books. The War of the Worlds. That was actually a really good book. Can't get in that door. I can go in that one. Can't go in that one. Okay, so I can go outside. Hmm. 
take a look at my phone real quick. Nothing. And now that door is locked. This uh is specifically kind of strange. Oh shit. You're gonna dump me again, aren't you, selfish bitch? That's locked. Am I like just locked out here? Okay, that opened. Okay, and now we're, now we're all the way. The fuck? My candle is no longer lit. Oh shit. What happened here? A bunch of blood. Why is there a bunch of blood? Oh. Boy. Those pictures uh, became like super fucked. I wonder if any of the other paintings became like super fucked. No? The candles in here are off too now. Oh, the candles everywhere went off. Oh, yeah. Look at that bitch, though. She got some weird, saggy boobies. And you just know I'm going to scream at some point. With what's going on. Alright, this door's locked still. I hate when that shit happens. This picture is the same. Blood drop. Oh, blood going upstairs. Take a look in here. See what we got. Another child goes missing. Brigand Insider, October 12th, 2016. Another child goes missing. Local boy is one of many children to go missing in recent weeks. 
He was last seen playing Knock Knock Run with his friends. See page 19. No, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Did this door just open? That door just became available to me. That door doesn't have anything. Uh, a butterfly or a moth? Door is locked. Fuck, dude. Alright. Get, get the shit scared out of us. I really hate games that like don't act like the person's there in front of the mirror. Missing child, nine-year-old boy, height, four, one, hair color, brown. Stay missing. 10th of October, 2016, last seen wearing a dark jumper over a white t-shirt, blue jeans with white trainers. Any information, please call that number. All right. That is super high pitch. Is, is that him? All right, so this might have to do with like kidnapped kids. <laughs> Chloe's diary, October 31st, 2016. I had a dream last night after I was messing around with that ritual shit I found. It wasn't exactly a dream, more like I was reliving a memory. The scariest door appeared in front of me. It had a goat head on it, which really creeped me out. The missing children, the ones from the news, were waiting just outside the door, and I'm shouting, don't knock the door. Two loud bangs, and I woke up in a puddle of sweat. I know it was just a dream, and the Baba Yaga is nonsense. But it felt so real. The Baba Yaga. Is that like a monster? Game looks scary. Lynn, it, it is scaring the crap out of me so far. How you doing today? I was a drug addict. I hate those words, but it's the truth. When I was really bad, I figured you were safer with somebody else looking after you. I tried to get you back sooner. I really did, but they wouldn't let me. They said I wasn't ready, but I'm ready now. I love you, Chloe. All right. Can I read this? Chloe, I cannot help you further. I hope the time, or I hope the little info I sent can help you. Spells, myths, and magic. Uh oh. Did, did Chloe cast some kind of fucking magic spell? And now there's a. Uh, like a demon in here?
Fuck my life. What the fuck is going on? Is someone else here? I'm gonna die. I just know it. What up, Jorman? How are you doing? Oh, fuck. Wait, why does that door look like the outside? Oh, what the hell is going on? I'm just a giant wuss. Let's <laughs> my bed. Yeah. Holy shit. What, what happened out here? She's mine. What, what happened right here? Oh shit, that disappeared too. What the fuck? Jess's Diary, October 16th, 2016. I wish Ben was here. It's not the same when he's away. He's been my rock through all of this and so supportive of Chloe's custody case. He's right when he said, he's right when he said that you can't change the past and what matters is that I'm trying to do the right thing now. The scariest thing about having a child is not the pain or the sleepless nights, it's the love and nobody prepares you for that. I loved Chloe when she was born, when I was high, when I gave her up, even when I was a thousand miles away and I love her now. She's mine, and I'll never let anyone take her from me again. All right. Oh. Well, that's just what I need in my life. A fucking pentagram. Uh. Hmm. Scary looking girl in a white outfit. Let's uh, let's go see if we get murdered. God, that's so big, scary. Or is that a statue? Okay, it's a statue. <laughs> well, how do I get this? Okay. Oh. Uh Okay, creepy shit. It's going good, Sonya. How are you? Just uh, you know, scared out of my mind. 
Jess's Diary, October 11th, 2016. It's been so tough the past few days. Chloe hates me and I don't blame her. I'm trying to make it up to her. Trying to make her see that I'm not the same person who was unfit to look after her all those years ago. Letting them take her away from me was the hardest decision I could ever make, but it was the right one. I needed help. Sometimes, even now, when I can't sleep, I ache for another fix. Thank God I have my work to distract me. I spent hours last night in the studio working on my latest sculpture. I'm still not totally happy with the concept, but it's slowly getting there. I just wish the same could be said about my relationship with Chloe. What up, Lady Hikaru? How are you doing today? All right, so this must be her latest sculpture. Uh, and the baby has vanished that she was carrying. That's just like a, a bag of trash. Uh, huh. Okay, so the the cup the cup is just floating here. Apparently, we need these uh pick up items for this. They basically represent symbols, from what I can tell. That are gonna be going into this pentagram. So that's nice. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? I wish you were dead. Wow. Chloe's an awful person. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> In Slavic folk folklore, Baba Yaga is a supernatural being who appears as the deformed, ferocious looking woman. She is the most ancient kind of witch, truly dark. She dwells in purgatory and feasts on children. She cannot just simply go and prey on children to eat. They have to be given to her in the form of a sacrifice. This ritual, she believed, would give her the powers over death itself. Oh shit. Nice. Shit, no, pick that up. Pick it up. There we go. Is this shit getting closer to me? Am I just a little bitch, or is this scaring anyone else? Yeah, see? Fuck you, thing. 
That bitch is following me. Can I not like light the candle on this again? Like I have this now. But apparently like I can't. All right, so. It, it dropped it itself. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. Okay. Uh. Came back with the raid? Well, welcome on back. Fuck, that scared the shit out of me. What up, Wyverse? How'd your stream go, brother? Got me the special rank because I'm bad. <laughs> I'm really fucking scared. It's coming for me. This is all my fault. Okay, Chloe. All right. Uh oh. Summoning ritual. Spirit gemstone, ameth amethyst, water gemstone, sapphire, fire gemstone, ruby, earth gemstone, emerald, air gemstone, diamond. Uh, but what are you summoning? Front, Chloe, age nine, and her favorite doll, ruby. Back, fire to cook her cold, dead heart. Wow. Let's uh, see if we can find any more gemstones to go with that shit. Then again, I don't know why we would want to summon. I'm sorry, please help. I didn't mean what I said. May 9th, 2016, Ben Thomas on behalf of Jessica Webb Thomas, to whom it may concern, I have known Jess for over five years now, and we have been lovingly married for the last three. It, it is with great honor and privilege that I write this character reference for my wife. She is my soulmate and a passionate, loving, and caring woman. She is a shoulder to cry on, my voice of reason, and I would be proud for her to be the mother of my children. I believe that depriving Chloe from Jess is depriving everything that she has to offer and the chance for her to make amends. We know mistakes were made a long time ago, and I truly believe that Jess will do anything to assure Chloe is safe, happy, and loved. She has turned her life around and become a success, and I truly believe she deserves a second chance to be with her daughter. Sincerely, Ben Thomas. I like how I throw everything. Or just, like, drop it like it doesn't fucking matter. Like, there's no just, like, placing shit. I can't open either side of that. Looks like I need a key. Freaky ass doors. Okay. Oh, oh shit. What's that say? 
you're mine. Fuck, dude. Summoning a dead kid. This always go well. No, I think it's a. Uh... I think they're supposed to be summoning the, uh... Fuck, dude. Ugh, scaring the crap out of me. What's happening to me in the kitchen? The doll, it burned. Uh, what did they say? The fucking... Baba Yaga? Alright, let's find the kitchen. Wherever the fuck that'll be. Alright, that picture's all fucked too now. The last time we weren't able to do a whole lot downstairs, we went up. Wait. Uh, okay. There was a young woman bullied and teased by all of the other people in her village. She was always alone and longed to be a mother and have a child to love and care for. As she grew older, she became more and more of a recluse. Children used to prank her, knowing she yearned for a child and would knock on her front door and run away. It is said that this is what drove her insane. In her insanity, she made a deal with a demon, that demon being the Baba Yaga. A deal was made to grant the woman a wish, a child. In doing so, she had to serve the Baba Yaga by making sacrifices to her. As the village children taunted her, she sought revenge. She, I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that's supposed to be sought. She sought revenge on them by putting a curse on her front door. By doing so, condemning the child who knocked her door to be the chosen sacrifice for the Baba Yaga. So, uh, don't knock on that bitch's door. I have an axe now. Can I, can I turn this off? Hello? What up, Vyclone? Yeah, and just fuck that letter. Fucking. Th this axe doesn't seem to do anything. You can use an axe to open locked doors by chopping the handles off. Ah. Uh. Get fucked. Oh, hello, rat. So th this is why uh, that fell down. Because it's trying to tell me that... Uh, or it's trying to make me go in this direction. I could have gone back the other direction. Oh, well, that's... Nice. Okay, so I just turned the gas off. Alright, 
right, so that should be the ruby back at the summoning circle. The, uh... Nope, I want that. My fucking heart. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hon. Charles, thanks for the host. Fuck, dude. Hey, give me that back. Baby Chloe, happy times. The right note is the key to find the spirit of the servant. Okay, that's we already went in there. Hey, why various things that look, brother? Oh. Oh. Man, why is everything scary as fuck? Oh, my axe is gone too. Fuck is that bullshit? Fuck, dude. You can't uh you can't jump out at me like that, the boogeyman. Scared by a ladder? Yeah, when it flies up my face like that. Can I like get over here? I can. Not that it matters. Anytime music like starts and stops, I just feel like some really bad shit's gonna happen. It, this thing's out again. I can't read that shit. Oh, there we go. Folklore of the Baba Yaga. 
tells of the servant's curse. The music's baiting you? Yeah. The bearer of the necklace shall do the demon's bidding. The evil hag's powers are limited on earth, and she needs the help of a human slave or cursed soul to carry out her commands. It is said that the only way the servant can be free of the demon is if they kill themselves or if they trick someone else into replacing them by doing something truly evil. Okay, so that, that was the necklace we just saw. Okay, we need we need a number. So we'll look for uh, a code. I haven't seen any sets of numbers so far. You, you want me to just try and go through uh, 10,000 combinations there? Fitness? I, I don't think anyone's ready to, to watch that shit. Why is there like fog mist? Oh, it's always good when doors just randomly fully open. Methadone. Dissolve the tablet in at least 300 milliliters of water, orange juice, or other citrus flavor, non-alcoholic beverage. Allow the tablet to disperse in the liquid. Drink quickly. Methadone. That's for, like, that's that thing that, uh, people use to, like, get off meth, right? That's super gross. Front, Ben and Jessica's engagement, 2012. Back. Steam reveals the secret to air. Boobish. Po. Thank you for the 666. Holy shit. Steam reveals the secret to air. Oh. Let's try and make some steam, huh? Four eight six two. Okay. Break, damn it. Hey you, come back to you. There we go. Ugh. Could not have been better time. Yeah, that, that was pretty good fucking timing. God damn it, axe. Four eight six two. Or was that over here? Uh, is there someone in this fucking bed now?
I don't remember that being uh, all fluffed up like that earlier. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a, I'm a giant bitch. Mm. Hurry, I can hear it. There's something in the basement. Oh, fuck my life. Can I? Yeah, boy. Music. Cut it out. Give me my axe back. Always check the basement. Ooh, that's scary now. This is upstairs, right? Her room. All right, so that thing did break. All right, good. Ugh. Fuck my life, man. So, like, here's my question to you guys. What's it like not being a giant bitch? Is that nice? Is, is this the basement? I know this is like her laboratory or whatever. All right, we've got four of the five things. Okay, no, this is not the basement. This is just like the ground floor, I guess. It's great. <laughs> I can imagine. So, uh, how do we get to the basement? That's locked, but like, I. This is actually one of the things I don't think I can. Yeah, can't can't get in there. Room strength. Catching weights with your teeth. That sounds uh, like a good way to owe a dentist a lot of money. Oh, wait, I don't have. God damn it. Like, why does the axe, like, always seem to... Okay. This is here. There's the basement. Passed down generation to generation, a tale has been told of a child that strayed too far from their mother in the forest. The child came across a house, the front door guarded by a horned goat. The goat leads the child inside 
never to return again. An old woman has been seen wandering the forest for lost children to lead them to the house. The story always changes, but the goat remains the constant. Look on the back, nothing on the back. Y'all might want to get your basement checked out. Shit. But I can't move through there. I love how every time you like fully do anything in this game, like shit just breaks. We've got six of the seven Russian dolls. I know you guys can't see it, but the Steam achievements are coming up. Pull the stones to... Oh, thank you, hon. Front, Co Chloe playing dress up with my tiara. Back, pull the stones to unearth her rotten flesh. But like, do I want to unearth any rotten flesh? Would you? crying you have them all you've got to come now I think it's coming back for you why is something coming for me oh Was that this direction? Yeah. Okay. Well, we got everything now. Now what? Jessica Webb Thomas, Sapphire Art Winner, back. Water from the well will cleanse the souls of the innocent he devoured. Like, I, I don't want to knock on the door, obviously. Right? Here, put that down. Just knock once. Well, 
Well, we knocked one. Fuck it. As the years went by, the mother grew more protective of her child and feared that the Baba Yaga would one day come for her. If a sacrifice could not be made, then the Baba Yaga would devour the offspring of her servant. So to try to break the curse, the mother committed suicide in order to protect her child, hoping the demon could never cross over to this world again. However, it did not break the curse, but merely pass it on to her child, condemning her offspring to bear the mark and become the demon's servant. Look for anything else out here. Okay, so I guess I can't go over there. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hon. Snowy, thank you for that raid. Fuck, dude. Am I stuck? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck my life. The kid got up. Kill her, Chloe. Stuck in a cage. There's like no way to life it. Titties got me. Wait, what? <laughs> 